What's up, Cheryl Fuller? Spiritual wealth. Breathe in. Breathe out. I know we should be outside. You're right. <laughs> but we're not. We're inside right now. I just want to say, wow, thanks for being here. Um, it's Freaky Friday. What's going on with your Freaky Friday? Well, I'm super excited and super pumped to be back to work on my videos. I have been going through huge expansions the last two months. I have been sick, which is more expansion and more clearing out all my crap. And I'm so super pumped up and excited to be back, back in the game. And I am just exhilarated right now. So I'm so excited. So I want to show, share with you guys what's been going on in my life um, and what can... Uh, um, what's been working for me and so I have been doing my uh, hypnotist at night like I had mentioned before in some of my videos if you guys are watching me if you're just tuning into my channel we talk about the laws of attraction taking positive action which is in success and satisfaction what all right guys so super excited um, <laughs> all right uh, well I've been listening to it and I listened to it um, as much as possible um, however, my husband did just start a new job and he was going through a lot of training So we kind of took a little break, but as much as possible listen to it last night woke up with two new subscribers um, I've been like I said listening to the past three months off and on probably even more than that probably the past But really dedicated the past three months. I've won the lottery twice I found money in a Costco cart out of nowhere and so it's working for me. My husband just got his dream job and he just got his first deal of $900,000. So hello, it's, it's definitely, definitely working for us. And so I've got to share that with you because I've got to share what works. And so I'm sharing that with you and I will, it, it will be attached to this video so you can go do the same. All right, guys, so let's get back into everything else that's going on. All right. I've also, um, Abraham Hicks, I know you guys know that I listen to her. I haven't really been reading any books lately, um, so I don't have a need to read this week. Um, but I'm just going to share with you everything I, I have been going on. I know I've, I've kind of been slacking on my reading lately, but I have been uh, still watching and learning a lot because I really do like uh, doing that. I like learning that. I, I'm um, So yeah, I'm into that, into that. But uh, one thing that I did learn that Abraham Hicks said is um, to write everything that you love. And that has been working for me. It's amazing. It really changes your vibration. So I literally re just write everything that you love. Everything you love to do. Everything that you love. Everything. Just every love of food. You love a restaurant. You love, um, maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> no, but whatever you love. And so look, I wrote like, I just, like people that love to write. Like I know my sister-in-law loves to write. Um, and so yeah. This is something that is like awesome. It just keeps going, I read it, I look at it, and it's things are happening with that. So, oh my gosh, um, I'm just super, super excited. Um, my husband, uh, he does loans for a living, he does home loans for a living, and um, I don't even wanna talk that and say that in that sense. I don't know why that bothered me for a living, but anyways, he that's what his uh, career is, let's go there. And so he deals with a lot of realtors. So I hope the realtors are watching me because I'm getting ready. Um, I've been super pumped up and doing a lot of work. I had a drop in and it's actually for anybody who has to make calls and has to make phone calls. Um, and even for people that have to kind of go back in on a con consistent basis and we kind of got to shake off that energy or it's going to affect the rest of it, right? So I'm super pumped up and get ready for that. Um, I'll be uh, marketing the realtors because I really am super pumped up to share that with you guys. Or like I said, anybody who has to cold call, anybody who has to like, kind of that's how they kind of reach out and manifest their stuff. So I'm super pumped up uh, to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably do that video next. Um, but let's get into Cheryl's secrets. All right, let's see what we got. Putting limitations and beliefs and expectations. Yes, perfect. We limit ourselves and we limit others, right? Because we're like, oh, wait, that doesn't work for me, so that's not gonna work for you, right? So let me just read this really quick. We limit ourselves and we limit others due to that, the limits we have. Um, 
limited beliefs, limited life limiting, whatever we believe to be true in our minds based in our life's experience we've had and witnessed around us from coworkers, parents, siblings, students, citizens, aunts, uncles, friends, etc. So on whatever we believe, the TV, of course, the news, whatever, we believe, whatever belief system you're surrounding yourself with will determine the outcome of the life you're living. That's why they say surround yourself with successful people, study their success, be around them to hold in that energy and that rhythm, that vibration, the holding of that energy, feel it, do it, know it, think it. Perfect. Get it all? Limited beliefs. That's what we, we've been programmed to, limited, to limited beliefs. And um, it is what it is, it's no big deal. Just get them out. Believe you can have whatever your heart desires. That's what you've got to believe. And um, just like I said, if you believe it to receive it, that's why the subconscious mind is so important. Even if you're in the conscious, even if you're awakened, it's still important because guess what? It's still there. So that's where that trifecta comes in. Um, and no, it's not the water treatment I'm selling. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, the trifecta is basically where you're programming, you're in the conscious, so you're already like in there, but then guess what? You're pro reprogramming your stuff and letting go of the stuff that no longer serves you anymore. It's just like, it's like an old computer. It's like an old computer that no longer serves us anymore. So get rid of it, get it out of there and get the new computer with the new programs and the new beliefs and be powerful and positive and pumped up and motivated to go do what you wanna do and love what you're doing. Trust me, I love doing these. I love doing these. I'm not even making money yet. I mean, in with this, within this, and I love and enjoy doing it. And that's another thing I'm gonna talk about is how, have you noticed how we treat people differently upon how much money they make? Have you noticed that? That's horrible. Quit that shit now. Nobody should be treated differently because of how much money they have in their hand or in their bank account. That's ridiculous, but we do that often and all the time we do it. Oh, it's a doctor. Oh, it's a lawyer. Oh, I mean, I used to be a server and that's the first thing. Oh, you better that prestige. You better have your A game on, you know, you better all, oh, you know, and that's just, just constantly what you hear and constantly what you're, oh, you're not working. Constantly different, not people like in that I'm around, but like other people. Because when you're a conscious, when you're in a conscious state, you feel everything. You feel everything. Like me, I'm in a conscious state, so I feel. I feel the energy so intense. That's why the people that are in a conscious state, they're more emotional. Why? Because they're feeling what you're feeling, how you feel about them. They're feeling everything and anything going on. Even if you're not even around them, they know. Yes, they do. So that's why it is so um, an emotional state because you're feeling intense. You're not just, it's not a braille. You're feeling it. So if you're going through that, there's nothing wrong with you. You're completely perfect. You're completely fine. You're expanding and you're growing and you're in the conscious state. Don't go back. Don't revert back because it feels safe. Don't keep on trucking through. Get through it. You will. Oh, wow. Anyways, within that being said, you still have to program your, reprogram your mind, your subconscious mind. Um, and then stay in the conscious, and then you're gonna have the trifecta. It's gonna be like where the, the, the universe, the God manifest, like everything's just gonna come to you like at your, like, here you go, here you go. And like I said, love what you do. If you don't love what you do, you're not gonna wanna put your all into it. You're not gonna want, the motivation's gonna run out, but the love for it will always be there. So, like I said, with that being said, um, I'm basically working. I'm uh, giving, you know, information. I'm doing all this stuff. And at this moment, through this channel, yet has been, but I know that it will come. I know that if I just keep going through it and I just keep working and I just keep doing everything that it's going to happen. And you guys are gonna watch it happen. And I'm so super pumped up. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here. If I've helped you out at all or if any of my videos do, give me a little thumbs up. That would be so awesome. I appreciate it. And if you have anything you'd like to comment or any questions, go ahead and comment. And hi, Mom. And I love you all. Thanks so much again for being here. Um, I'm not kind of going to put a name on that, but um, it is Freaky Fridays. One more daily affirmation before I head out. 
I'm always in an abundant state of mind. What does it say? I'm always having an abundance of money, options, and freedom, and love. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. Cheryl Fuller, spiritual well. Stay positive, stay powerful, and stay true to you.